So welcome back to Warner Tate Photography. It's been an absolute age since we were out making a video, November 2021 actually. A lot's changed since then. Um, so we now live in Scotland, in rural Aberdeenshire. So we're 30 minutes from the Cairngorms, which is absolutely fantastic. And we're about 40, 50 minutes away from the coast. So we've got the best of both worlds. Max had a transfer with work, uh, opportunity that came up. So during the last six months, we've been up and down, looking for somewhere to live, quite a few visits, trying to find a base that gave us both country and coast, coast and country. So we're happy with our little village. It's, it's absolutely lovely and it's just so nice to, to finally be in Scotland. This morning we've come down for sunrise. There's no cloud whatsoever, but what we have got is some nice peachy, warm, orangey tones on the horizon with quite a nice light blue above it. Now it's not gonna make for a good sunrise shoot, to be honest, but as I mentioned, the Aurora went off. <laughs> um, the Aurora alert went off at about two o'clock. So we thought, why not just get up? We was gonna get up anyway to, to come out. We've not got any Aurora, but what we did do when we, when we first arrived is just to my right, there's a beautiful sea arch. And we took the opportunity to try some light painting. So we've ran maybe four different exposures. One for light painting the actual arch. Another one for the, there's a, there's a group of rocks or one large rock. It's hard to tell in the light at the moment. Just through the arch. So we've light painted the back. We've light painted the foreground and I've taken an exposure for the sky. Now, whether all that comes together or not will remain to be seen but hopefully it will. What I'm doing at the moment is until the sun comes up, so it's gonna rise um, sort of obviously in the east <laughs> and, and come up and I'm hoping that it, it's gonna cast some nice light across the arch and across this group of rocks that we've got in the foreground. But until then, I'm just gonna have a look for some compositions. The one that I'm focusing on the moment is there's almost like a triangle of rocks with some lovely detail, almost a leading line going out to sea. And then the rock in the mid ground as, as the main focus. <sighs> uh, it's, it's not gonna be great, to be honest, but it's nice to get up and experience the sunrise. Maybe when the sun comes up and we get some light, it might make for some more interesting compositions. But I think what I'm gonna need to do is, is cut out quite a lot of that sky and just make the rocks these absolutely fantastic rocks with all the texture and the, the structures on um, more of a focal point so I think until then until the sun comes up so we it's 10 past five so just first light sunrise is around half five 20 to six so we've got around half an hour just to play around have a look at some compositions and see what we can find So what I'm focusing on at the moment is just a really simple scene. In front of me, we've got just some rocks in the sand. On the right hand side of the composition, we've just got a cluster of rocks creeping into frame. We've got this larger rock sort of almost in the top of the frame and just a couple of these rocks that are just, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna get wet feet, um, that are just on this left-hand side, just creeping in. It's, a, it's it, there's not much going on, to be honest, but what I'm trying to do is, as the waves are coming in, is just make that foreground a bit of a feature. So what we've got is that white of the water as, as it comes in. The tide is coming in a little bit better now, which is nice um, because it's creating some texture in the, mo in the waves <laughs> as it comes in. So what am I on there? I'm on F11. 
I saw 125 and a quarter of a second on the shutter and it is giving some nice texture that white of the waves is just filling the bottom of the frame a little bit which I think it needed because as I say there's not that much going on to be fair I could maybe do um, a long exposure here and try and smooth out all of that water and yeah that's nice and expose I suppose the rocks underneath but I just think it'd be just a bit too boring to be honest we've not yet got any golden light on the rocks it might be that well the sun hasn't risen yet still <laughs> it might be when it comes up above the horizon that we do get some of that nice light which hopefully we will so yeah um, I've been further round just to have a see if there was anything interesting on these side of the rocks on the other side of this sea arch there is a little bay with some absolutely stunning rock formations again that just lead you out to sea so I might go and have a little look around there miss that one and I've got wet feet um, I might go and have a little look around there but I what I don't want to be doing is running around like a headless chicken thinking where's the best compositions so yeah I think what I'll do is I'll put those images up that we've taken this morning with the light painting if they've worked fingers crossed and these couple of shots that we've taken here and we'll probably go around the other side and have a look Yeah, I'm getting quite a lot of flow there. Um, what is quite nice is that we've got some birds that are just flying in and out of the scene. Yeah, it's quite nice. Like that, the flow's not the best. It'd be nice if we could get a few more birds flying into, into shot. We've got one coming in there now. Lovely. Perfect. Nice couple of shots there with the birds. Grand, what a morning. Okay, so... I'm relatively-ish happy with this composition that we've got. Now, the sun has risen a little bit higher above that stack and it's given us a silhouette in that far right-hand side. We've got a couple of rocks in the foreground and some jagged rocks that lead up to a, a bigger rock. Oh, lovely. And I'm just trying to capture that wave now as it comes in, just to create a bit more interest in this foreground. At the moment, I'm on a quarter of a second. Nice. A quarter of a, sec a second, F11, and I've put my ISO up to 160. I've got a three stop filtering at the moment that I put in to try and achieve that quarter of a second. And I've also dropped in a reverse grad. The shots that we're getting on that, oh, lovely. On that, oh, that's nice. <laughs> on that quarter of a second, it is superb. Really, really pleased. There is some golden light now across this side. These rocks are still in silhouette. As the sun moves around a little bit, I'm hoping that we'll get some side light instead of the rocks being quite dark because these images are quite dark, but they're, but they're nice. Really, really happy with that one. I have tried going to the left 
but you almost lose the separation in those rocks. But I'm really happy, I think, at the moment with what this is giving me. So I'm going to stick with this for a little bit longer and just see if that wave picks up again. And then we'll have a look for something different. So at the minute I'm just trying to fine tune this composition just a little bit more Woo. and getting wet feet <laughs> in the process. I'm really happy with how the water is looking on these shots but I wanted to try and include a little bit more of the rocks and a little bit of this cliff on the left hand side. <laughs> um, I should put wellies on. The tide is its going to be receding now, so high tide was an hour ago and although we do get a little bit of um, a burst every now and then, it's sort of lost its oomph. So the light is still really nice but I think in maybe I don't know another 10 or 15 minutes is probably going to be too harsh so I think we've got some different compositions from this same spot that we can take back have a look at what works best on the bigger screen when you're editing the images obviously you, you see other things that you've not necessarily seen on the back of the camera miss that one um, but an absolutely lovely morning. What a stunning morning that's been, despite getting up at two o'clock, was it? Yep. We've absolutely loved that today. Couple of different things going on with light painting, blending exposures, <laughs> shooting into the sun, lens flow, what shutter speed for the waves, all that sort of jazz this morning, but it's been fantastic. Yeah, really nice, really nice. These types of mornings are what I absolutely love when you don't really know what to expect. The only thing that we did know was there wasn't going to be any cloud. <laughs> um, there's been a little smidge that has just added a bit of interest to the top of some of the images. But I'm looking forward to getting back now and editing them. Mm. Um, I was just saying to Max uh, that those few that we were shooting there as the sun has lifted a little bit more as the waves were coming in, it was backlighting some of mm. them and oh, it was just lovely, yeah, weren't it? Yeah. Really, really nice. But I think, I think we've, we've probably stretched it out as much <laughs> as we can. Um, it's been incredible to be back yeah, absolutely. videoing. Absolutely. Max has enjoyed it as well, yeah, haven't you? I have, I have indeed. <laughs> been doing a bit of drone footage while I've been chunnering away, chunnering away to myself with the images. So yeah, all in all, a fantastic morning. Yeah. yeah and can't wait to get back out and share our Scottish adventures full time with you. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll leave it there. We'll call it a day for this video. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. We'll see you next week. Adios. Adios.